You know, the other day, I read an article that reckoned oral sex is the new leading cause of throat cancer. Well, Christ, what a bloody excuse they've got now. I mean, that's taken the old I have a headache line to the next bloody level, ain't it? Oh, sorry, honey, not tonight, not ever. Your cock will give me cancer. I'd just say, well, looks like I'm about to get really good at putting a catheter in, love, because you're about to have four rounds of chemo a week. Ah, it's just typical, isn't it? I mean, once a dick gets involved, everyone suddenly becomes a health freak. I mean, let me get this straight. With all the shit going on in the world and all the shit you put in your body, I mean, vapes, smokes, grog, drugs, I mean, putting fake tan on every Thursday night, laying on the beach trying to get a melanoma, a makeup tested on Bugs Bunny, toxic fucking shock syndrome, peroxide and bleach all in your hair, global warming, 5G buzzing around you. You go through all that, but you draw the line at my cock being a health risk. But let's be honest here. If I put a nicotine patch on my cock and ate heaps of pineapple, they'd be vaping on that bastard every minute of every day. Yet I haven't even given you so much as an itch to scratch, let alone bloody cancer. No herpes, no warts, no drippy tip, the odd callus, that's about it. But you want to go and pin the big C on my little D. Don't go blaming the poor little frightened bastard for things like that. He's never done anything to hurt anyone. Poor bastard deserves a break after all the places he's been. The only way that my cock is an OH&S issue is if I drive it through your fucking eye socket, mate. Even then, it's a stretch for it to reach the brain. See, that one could imply that I have a short dick or you have a little brain. It's called a double entendre, yeah. You ever dated a Sheila with a glass eye? Probably something worth trying there. Anyway. I don't know why they'd be worried about getting sick from something that doesn't happen often enough to be considered a health risk. Though, we are big on that at the moment, aren't we? Ah, you reckon we'll piss away a few years on a cock cancer epidemic? Kind of sounds alright, to be honest. I mean, imagine the signs they'd have up. Be cock cancer safe. Use your hands, not your mouth. Studies show that hand jobs and dry humping are just as effective as head jobs. Lick the prick get sick. Don't blow it for yourself. Are you swallowing more than you can handle? Don't suck it. Just fuck it. Giving a blowy tonight? Is your star sign cancer? It could be. Cock kills. Might have to put little masks on our cock. You know, you occasionally light up a smoke when you're having a drink, right? Well, I don't think that makes you a primary candidate for lung cancer, so What's a cock once in a while? I mean, there's blokes and sheilas out there allergic to seafood, and they're still diving down the old snail trail, aren't they? So, come on, let's balance this out a bit before the dick gets all the blame, eh? Apparently, those with six or more lifetime oral sex partners are 8.5 times more likely to develop oropharyngeal cancer than those who don't engage in oral sex at all. So, you should be pretty safe then, mate. Mrs. Palmer and her five daughters don't count. You know, I remember years ago talking to this old Sheila in town and well, let's just say she didn't mind a serving of cocktail franks herself. Anyway, she told me about this other old bird that we knew and how she'd just been diagnosed with cervical cancer. And she pinned the blame on her having cervical cancer on the fact that she had too much cock when she was younger. And I just turned around and I said, well, Christ, Marjorie, how long do you have left? Well, surely you must be stage four by now. But hey, nothing wrong with having more rides than Farlap. You can't win the cup unless you're in the race. But Christ, you gotta take your hat off to women, eh? I mean, what their body goes through, I mean, they go through a lot for men, eh? Whether it be birth control that throws their body completely out of whack or giving birth to a child, I mean, it's bloody good to see them finally getting the recognition that they deserve. Because you see, back in my day, respect for women wasn't really a thing. And there were like only two or three sex positions. See, respect for women was only invented in the last few decades. But now, it's, it's bloody good to see. Well overdue. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, that's right, throat cancer from cock. Anyway, mate, I just think it's a complete lie. Well, it's pretty dry still down our way, old fella. 